No time. I'm going. Viewing pinpoint. You're almost out, man. You're almost out. Battery warning. I actually need you to help find this tower. What's the link? How, how far? It's huge. It's like 40 k's. Oh, and you don't have a beacon? What are you doing? Good morning everyone. Today we are doing a line of sight survey. This particular job gets quite technical. Basically the whole premise of it is we need to identify two poles and to be able to see each tower from the top end or where the antennas or the dishes are. We're about to get to the B end. There's two ends, the A end and the B end. The B end is the candidate for which they would want to try and establish a link with. Ma'am! Ma'am! <laughs> Alright, so we've just um, just rocked up at the B end. This is the tower behind me here. It's really, really tall. It'll be a little bit difficult to try and identify this tower on the other end, depending on the size of it. Um, we know for a fact it's a pretty big tower, so we should be able to see it. But we're also shooting into the sun, so for that we would have to probably adjust the camera settings um, manually just so we can play around with the exposure so we can actually see the tower. Now, uh, for something at this length, it's about 40 kilometers, we would use the M300, but we decided to go with the M30. We'll see how, how we can, how it goes in finding that tower at that length. I think it should be all right. So at the moment, Matt is just setting up the controller. Um, what else can I tell you? All right, so the drone's uh, right at the top. It's a 90 meter tower. So now he's just trying to find the A end, which is the fun part. It's so foggy. It looks like the one though. It does, huh? I think this is the one. I, I swear it looks different. Yes, got it. I am pretty confident that we are looking at the right one. How about you, Matt? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Oh, f no, no, batteries. Oh, f oh, the battery. All right, that's it. We finished finally at the B end and we're gonna head over to the A end. We took a little bit longer because it was a bit hazy in the morning. We used the M30 first to begin with and we just couldn't find it. Uh, then we swapped out the drone with the M300. Uh, we thought we found it, <laughs> we're actually looking at the wrong one. Uh, and then we had to confirm again. It's sort of been very difficult for those that wouldn't know what they're looking for. Packed up now. Uh, we're gonna head about 45 minutes to a town called Finley. Maybe grab another coffee, definitely, and a bite, and then uh, we'll shoot back to this one and do the same procedure. But I'll take you through that in a moment. I will verify, and then I will provide in, a, in response on that email saying that we are available only next Thursday, Friday for the access. Yeah. So that this is how it looks like. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, once that goes green, then it should be live. <laughs> Alright, let's go! We are live at the top with the heavy unit, Matt's flying the drone, and we've got Paul back in the office to help us find the A end, and also to see a live feed of our operations. So, we'll get Paul on the phone and see if he can uh, jump in and help us out. Hey, how are you man? I actually need you to help find this tower. We're down to our last battery uh, and it's really, really hazy out here. I did see it, is it really tall? It's the link, how, how far? It's huge, it's like 40 k's. Oh, and you don't have a beacon? What are you doing? Nah, well, because it's a big tower, we found it from the other end here, yeah. so. God, it's a bit hazy on you really. In there. It is hazy. Might charge the other back. There's one. 
That's something. Put us in there. Yeah, no, not bad. It'll be pretty tall, but we're looking for another thing like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 40k is a fair distance too. It's more than 40. So you'd be over the horizon, I'd imagine. I'll pull up the map so sort of the towers that I've been looking at to see if I'm in that right direction. Where's this shed here? See is it what I'm looking at? Can you see if you can find that on Google Maps? It's like three long warehouses. Yeah, it looks like it's going directly over the back of the middle shed at a bearing of 269. But other than that, man. I really do feel like you need to have a out there. At that distance. I'm going to try and I'll, I'll send it up for a new app to his. We ran out of battery. We'll cut the end thing to you up. Kind of wait. No time. I'm going. Alright. Morgan, talk to me. Viewing pinpoint. Why can't I find you? What was in the port? Yeah. Whoa. It should be literally where you said through those silos. It just doesn't have enough juice to get there. Hopefully. Running out of battery. You're almost out, man. You're almost out. Battery warning. Okay, so just a quick update before we head out and grab something to eat. Um, it was a little bit annoying that we couldn't find the B end, um, even though we knew we were spot on on that same, that correct bearing with the reference of the, the sheds, like we knew it was there, we just couldn't see it. Probably had a lot to do with the camera that we were using, the atmospheric conditions, the fog and the smog going on in the horizon there. But what we ended up doing is capturing uh, high-res images all the way in, all the way out, and some video. Then we sent that off via the little broadcast unit that sits on top of the drone um, straight into our Dropbox folder. And we had Krishna in the office looking through those images and he actually found it. Hold it, run that back. Wait a minute. Go right. There, freeze that. Full screen. Okay, freeze that. Tighten up on that way. Enhance. 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 Freeze and enhance. Very, very good work, Krishna. He managed to find a very small little outline, a little silhouette of the of the tower, and that was it. And that was what we are then able to put into the report. So yeah, well done, Krishna, and uh, that's where we're at at the moment, so let's go grab some food. So it's been a good trip. Um, we're heading back now to the office. We'll offload uh, all, all the uh, all the gear, all swap cars, and then head back home. A few more jobs like this next week in Queensland that we need to start prepping for as well. But yeah. Uh, guys this is here this is the end of uh well the second day in the day in the life um of a commercial drone operator i guess you could call it um it's really uh, a company now so yeah no longer a single operator i think the journey's been um it's been very very incredible and eye-opening it's been a wild wild journey actually the last video i did five years ago you know, by myself, <laughs> doing some real estate stuff here and there. And then now, you know, we're running operations across the country. Uh, we've got eight staff now in Melbourne and a whole bunch of different contractors doing a whole bunch of different work. And <laughs> also got <laughs> family now as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Come in. Hello. You want to come in? I'm just doing a vlog. So this is my little daughter, Savannah, who wasn't around five years ago. And this little guy. <laughs> this is what happens after five years. So, um, this is Savannah. She's four years old. 
and she's gonna be an amazing drone pilot one day. And this guy loves cars. This is Zion. He might also be a drone pilot, who knows? Over all the time. <laughs> I might just cut it there. But um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Wave, wave guys. <laughs>